Hey Magic One, Bronya here, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Below the video is the link to learn tarot with me through my immersive journey, the initiation. It's the first one under the video. You'll also find the link to my website to book a personal reading or healing with me. I am available for those and would love to do so. You'll also find the social media links to join me over there. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out and like, share or comment on the video. It really helps me to keep these readings coming to you. I'm wishing you so much love and magic for your week. Let's head to your reading. Virgo, this is your weekly tarot reading for October 25th through to the 31st. Happy Halloween. Hope you're doing really well, Virgo, and enjoying this magical time of the year. Let's see what might be on the cards for you for the week. Well, they are animated. I'm getting started with the Workulite Oracle. Going to then be heading to the Moonchild Tarot for a lead tarot energy. And today I'm using the Rider right Waite and the Star Child Tarot for the tarot positions. That first one out, Virgo, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration and Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So divine orchestration, guys, understanding that your angel spirits guides are helping to pull the strings behind the set, pulling up the stage curtain for you. You know, this is about trusting in the path and trusting that you will be guided to, you know, the key decisions and turning points along the way. So you have a spirit team, you tune into them by quieting the mind and staying very present, can come through as an inner knowing within yourself, signs, synchronicities, and leap. Guys, I've just had this for Taurus. You go first and the universe will catch you. This is the full energy of this Oracle deck. It is that Aries energy of big, bold moves. And it says maybe it's time to take a leap of faith. Might be a blind leap of faith to be all in with something. Is it towards a person? Is it towards a job? Is it towards a location? You tell me, guys. This is a general reading. I'm going to read the energetic pattern and story in the cards, but these can this pattern could be applied to a different area of the your life thought for you, for me, or somebody else. Okay, it says you go first, Virgo, because in you taking the first step or the making the first move, you send a message to the universe that you are ready, you are ready for change. I have listened to the sign, I have followed your guidance, and I am ready to move forward. And in doing that, the universe then will show you the next stepping stone will roll out that red carpet for you no you don't know where it's all heading you don't know what the result is going to be but you're intuitively guided to take that first step let's get your lead tarot energy one card what is it it is oh the empress guys 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 probably uh, my favorite energies are known there's no real good and bad, you know, there's all uh, challenging and positive aspects of each card, but the Empress and the Star are just beautiful energies. This links to Taurus and Libra, and the Empress is about creation, guys. Number three in the Major Arcana, she says, what is it that you have been hoping, dreaming, wishing for, and manifesting? Because the energies are here to start birthing it, to start making it a reality. There's a leap involved, right? There's a leap involved to, to really bring that through. So she's a beautiful energy. She is a blessing when she appears in a reading. She is about abundance and she can be an increase in money. So it's it's happening, guys. It's happening. It's the divine feminine energy. So it says you do need to take a bold action here, but you also need to uh, surrender and allow things to, to unfold as well. Let's get the current or focus energy, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm actually going to start with the recent past. What has led you to this? If this is your reading, I am pulling the Ten of Wands. Of course, of course, you know, a challenging drainer energy or an ending will always lead you to the creation of the new, the sun, Leo energy, guys, the most positive card in the tarot deck. So they say, I think some of you have been through, you know, some kind of, of justice situation here. Oh, the sun, it's such a refreshing energy. And the star, my other favorite. Guys, we've got them both here. The star, the sun, and the empress, guys, is pretty much a power combo. King of Cups. So very positive, powerful reading. Let's get the clarifiers. They can add another level of detail to the story, to the situation. I have got the queen of pentacles. That is most likely you. 
Virgo, no matter whether you are male or female, it is energetic qualities. Here's the Ten of Wands again. Again, again, again. I've got the King of Wands. And that is another Leo energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Leo. I've got Aquarius here as well. I've got the Sun again. Guys, guys, guys. You can't make this up. Two Suns. Two Ten of Wands. My two favorite cards. And a star. <laughs> and two star cards. All right. Well, you know what? That's what we're getting. That's what we're getting. Okay, so I I will actually say this is the first time that I've ever probably seen, you know, that kind of combination of cards come out before, guys. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy <sighs> at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what is very clear from this reading here, Virgo, is that you're closing a door, right? You know, often when we leap into the new, there's something to be given up as well. And I've got the Ten of Wands here. Bringing in the Hierophant here, I feel like, let's see if I got focus on that for you, that what you are giving up can be, with the Hierophant, it can be a you know, committed relationship marriage, it can be a really traditional job or career path as well, it can be you stepping off the expected road. When I see the Hierophant in a reading, like they call it, well I call it, the midlife crisis card, and that can happen at any stage of your life guys, whether you're like 18 or, or 70 here, it's the awakening to your truth and knowing that you, know, you cannot compromise it anymore and you must move in alignment with it. So I feel like that's what you're going through. You know, you're no, willing, no longer willing to work a job that doesn't bring you happiness, be in a relationship that doesn't feel right, or you don't share common values. This is about stepping away from tradition and going your own way. It's also a very spiritual card, so I feel like you might be having a spiritual awakening, having your, you know, political awakening, awakening to the truth of what's happening in the world, all of these kinds of things. So there is a sense of, you releasing a bit of a load here, releasing a weight, because it's like, oh, thank goodness I don't have to play along with that charade anymore. This could have been kind of uh, bubbling up within you for a while is what I'm feeling. So I feel like that's what you are giving up to leap into the new. And the new for you is to do with the Empress and the Star energy. The Star is about divine wish fulfillment. The Empress is like, hey, whatever you want to create that's on your heart, let's do this. So that's going to be different for all of you guys. Like I said, it could be relocating to somewhere in the sun, like with two sun cards, somewhere warm and sunny, somewhere lifestyle-y, that kind of thing. Um, you know, it could be starting that business like slowly but surely stepping away from the grind, the expected path, you know, all of that kind of thing. So as I think that your energy has been consumed for so long here, Virgo, it's time for you to come into your power, Queen of Pentacles here, to refocus your energy and follow your instincts. The Queen of Pentacles is this need to have a greater sense of balance in your life. You know, you want uh, the best of both worlds. You want the work-life balance. And the Queen of Pentacles is about taking practical steps to get there. So yeah, there's a leap of faith here, but it also says put together a practical fail-safe plan. Have plan Bs, you know, make a plan to slowly transition. Um, you know, the, the first part might be a leap, but there's also like a backup plan of you slowly phasing out the old if it's a work and money situation. So that's what I see here. Now you've got a repeat of that Ten of Wands. I don't need to sort of go over that one again. <laughs> We've put the second sun down, so we only need one of those as well. We've got another star. So pretty much, guys, this is, all boils down and distills down to these energies here. The star, the sun, and the king of wands. King of cups is over there as well. So the king of wands, I'm going to describe the energies here. Now, the king of cups is Scorpio and the king of wands is Leo. You might be getting some advice from a Leo or a Scorpio as part of this but the court cards or people cards in tarot can also be qualities that you need to integrate in yourself to navigate the situation so the king of wands is about discernment and vision as the king of wands you can clearly see the path ahead and you can clearly see what you need to, to leap towards and what you need to do in order to move towards living a life of passion and purpose right to build your empire 
Now, the next new moon, and I have to check, I haven't checked before this reading when it is, but the next new moon could be a powerful and pivotal time for you to take this first move, right? That's what I'm seeing in that card there. Now, the star. The star is a card of healing, of tipping out the past. Understand that there is real vulnerability here, guys. But... You know, if you stay grounded, if you realign your energy, it's saying here that stars will also align for you. Divine orchestration, right? Help is in the subtle realms. You are being guided here, potentially from a loved one on the other side. So pay attention, be tuned in. There is the next move that you are making is going to bring you towards your true potential and having an, a, an ability, an opportunity to really manifest your wildest dreams. The sun says that you're actually overcoming a huge, huge obstacle here and going through a sense of, of rebirth. With two lots of ten of wands in the reading, some of you may have gone through some health struggles here as well, chronic fatigue, that kind of thing. And this is an energy of healing, reinvigoration, getting your energy back. And I feel like the cause of that health issue, if you did have that, was the fact that you weren't listening to your heart and soul and you were basically, you know, doing a job or being in a, staying in a relationship that you weren't happy in for other reasons and that has basically manifested physically for you. So the sun says that you're heading into a more positive time and um, generally it's not an energy that hangs around just for a week. It's a longer reaching energy. It's about a positive new chapter where you will be able to manifest what you're looking for here. It's going to be important for you to stay emotionally grounded, right? There are going to be times where you're going to feel challenged. No leap of faith in transition into the new is without you know it's challenges without those thoughts of oh, I should have stayed where I was you know it was it was comfortably numb it was you know it was easy but you're going to need to stay on your center and follow your intuition and connect with heart and realize why you initiated these changes in the first place so that's what I see here, guys, you know, a powerful leap into the new towards something that you've been hoping, dreaming, wishing for and wanting to manifest. You've needed to leave behind the old, the secure, the traditional, you know, the, the expected path and go your own way. And it is the changes that you make now, Virgo, at this number five Hierophant energy that are going to determine the next 10 or outcome that you arrive at. And let's make it not the 10 of wands. Let's make it the 10 of cups. Let's make it the 10 of pentacles. So if you stay, you know, positive, stay in a sense of hope and faith and trust and follow the divine guidance within you, that is how you will get there. Okay, Virgo, well, I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you enjoyed this channeled tarot message for the week. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective, it can't, won't, and is not meant to resonate for all of you. So drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I do read them all, and uh, try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energy. I will see you back here for another one next week, Virgo. Take care. Bye for now.